I've built a tool. And if you frequently create presentations and animated visuals, I've got something for you, for free and at no risk. But first, let me start with a question. What do engineers do when they face a problem? A. If they ignore it or they start to live with it. B. They pay a lot of money to buy an existing solution that might not work exactly they want it to be. Or C. They spend an enormous amount of time to create a custom DIY solution. I'm Peter, Senior Software Engineer and stay tuned for more. In my last video, I used some visuals that I created with Excalidraw. And I wanted to show these visuals in an animated way. So I did my research to find out how I could achieve that. And in the end, I chose Keynote, the presentation tool of the Apple ecosystem. In Keynote, I created multiple slides with the same image and each slide had a version of this image with a different size and location. And then I applied the magic move transition. And when presenting this magic move transition caused the image to kind of pan around and zoom between the different size levels. And it served the purpose. So I went ahead and recorded the video and then something unexpected happened. While recording the video, I saw that there are errors in the images. And I fixed the images and I just had to replace the images on around 100 slides. And this is very tedious to do, trust me. So I took the hard path, I fixed all the slides and I finished the video. So the end result was good. But deep in my heart, I knew this is super inefficient. And maybe you face the same problem. You want to create animated presentations where you just have a single image and you want to pan around and zoom between different sizes. So how does the story continue? After finishing the video, I started to write the corresponding blog article. And what I really wanted to do is to embed these visual flows, respectively these presentations in the blog. But embedding a keynote presentation inside HTML is not that simple and I didn't want to use a third party provider. So that was the key moment. I started to ideate. I created some wireframes and I wrote down my ideas. I spent two days to create a prototype of a web application. And this is the beginning of Pen and Zoom. And you know what? It was really unexpected for me that this prototype worked fantastic. So I went ahead and said to myself, this has to be a public product, a public free product so that everyone can benefit from it. So I sat down and I wrote down what's necessary for an MVP, what is necessary for a final product. And what do I need to actually launch such a web application? So I started to work on the MVP stage. I added more features. And then after the MVP stage, I added even more features, more convenience functions, and it worked even better. And so then I continued with preparing it to be launched. I created a product page. I created help videos inside the application. I added a documentation site for shortcuts so that you can work very, very easily with that tool. And I added even more convenience functions. So there's a really cool out tool out there, which is called Pen and Zoom. And I will show you now how it works. I'm now on Xcalidra and I want to create a presentation for this thing here. So we have this poem about dogs with four verses. And what we can do is we can click on export image, copy to clipboard, and I will now go to pan and zoom. And in the project overview, I will use the shortcut command V and pasting the image creates a new project. What I can do is I can say poem about ducks. And now I create some keyframes. I do that using the shortcut command A 
and I can set the keyframes. If I want, I can check the keyframes by hovering over them. Looks good. And now let's present that thing. I hit F to enter the full screen mode. And now I have a full screen presentation and using the arrow keys, I can guide you through that poem. Isn't that cool? So there's one part missing in the story. I told you about the key moment when I tried to embed these presentations in my blog. How should this be possible when all the data is stored locally and there's no way to like provide an, a link to embed an iframe? And then something came up. If you have a video, what do you do? You have a video player, usually the browser provides that, and you have the video itself, the data. You store the data somewhere, and then you tell the video player element where to read the data from. And in the end, you have a working video player. So I did exactly the same thing. I created a player to play such pen and zoom projects in an embedded way. And you just had to specify either a link to a pen and zoom project, or you could also provide an embedded, respectively inlined project export. And this way, embedding pen and zoom projects became super simple. And I used that to replace my images in my previous blog article with pen and zoom projects. Let's replace an image inside this blog article by a pen and zoom project. So down below here at implement session creation, we have the first image. I can click on that image and it's opened in a new tab. And now let's head over to pen and zoom. I've already created a project for session creation. You see, we have many keyframes here. What I first do is I export that project and I will copy that export to my public assets. Yes. And now I can open the project again and head over to embed. I can now copy the HTML code, go to my code editor, remove that hint here, add the code, and you see we have a script tag that could be placed like in a more top level file, like in the indexed HTML file, but for now it's okay. And we have this pan and zoom present element. And what I need to do is I need to set the starter export URL correctly. So what I will do is I will say block save that, reload the page, and you see we have a, an embedded pen and zoom project inside the blog article. Isn't that awesome? And I can click through it and the reader can really follow along. So what do we have? We have a public web application called pen and zoom that enables me to create these panning and zooming animations for my single image so much faster than with Keynote, it's insane. And the precision level is so much better than with Keynote because in Keynote, when you had a big image, these grabbing things to change the size just went out of the viewport. And with pen and zoom, I can just drag around and zoom with a pinch gesture and precisely position my keyframes. And the best thing is I can now also embed these projects seamlessly in my blog articles. And you can do that too. It's a free tool. You don't need to create a user account and there's no risk at all. You don't need to spend time to create a user account to figure out how everything works. When you start the application, you will have a starter project. You can start the presentation mode right away, see if it's something for you. Then you can try to create your own projects and they are also help videos. I've created help videos for every aspect of the application, how to export 
images, how to embed projects, how to use shortcuts efficiently and so on. So there's no risk at all. It's open source and I would be glad to hear about your feedback. Do you remember the question from the beginning? What do engineers do when they face a problem? Of course, the answer is C. They spend an enormous amount of time to create a custom DIY solution. Pan and Zoom helps you to create your visuals and present them like a pro for free and at no risk. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.